to Sue's Kitchen. So today we'll be making Jamaica Saril wine. Easy, easy, easy. And guess what? It tastes delicious. So it's called Jamaica Saril wine. But the only thing we're going to do different today, we're going to do a virgin um, Saril wine. But before I get into the ingredients, I want to remind you guys, please subscribe, share, like, and leave a comment. Guys, subscribe. Let's get into the ingredients. Okay, guys, here are the ingredients that we're going to use to make our sour wine. So in here, um, I have six, um, six quarts of water. Over here, I have a pound and a, a pound, four ounces of sour, dry sour. This is the dry one. You could buy this in any store, dry sour. Here, I have ginger and here I have sugar. So all the process works is that I'm going to put this, the water on the stove to boil, and then we're going to add the sarrel and then the ginger. Most people typically do it with white rum. I am making a virgin sarrel wine, so I'm not going to add any rum to it. So let's get started. Let's get to the stove. So here we're putting our water to boil. We're going to bring it to a steady boil. We're gonna cover it and let it come come to a boil. And while while it's while it's while it's being while it's boiling, we're gonna prepare our saril and our ginger. Okay, guys. So we're gonna prepare our saril, our ginger. So a nice cup of ginger, a full cup or more of ginger grated. So all I'm doing, I'm just washing. Just wash it. Nice. Open them up so you get all the dirt or anything that's in. I'm not gonna clean the skin off. I'm gonna keep the, the skin. I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and clean. I'm gonna wash this. I'm gonna put it down because we're gonna shred it. So we're gonna put it aside. Get rid of this water. Get fresh water. And now we're gonna wash our sorrel. So you need for, for, for six quarts, you need a pound and a quarter dry cereal. If you want it very strong, you could add more, but this is pretty strong. Um, and to this, and how it works, some people like when there's alcohol in there. So they had either white rum or they had um, port wine. Um, I do not add alcohol to mine, so I just might make mine virgin. And what we're going to do is once we get everything on the stove, we're going to let it come to a boil, the sorrel and the ginger, and we're going to leave it. We're going to add about two cups of sugar in there, and we're going to leave it for 24 hours. We're going to leave it to cure for 24 hours, and then we'll sweeten it tomorrow this time tomorrow evening this time for 24 hours and if you want you could even leave it for longer you could leave it for even two days but i want to drink mine so i'm not going to leave it for that long so just wash it once or twice i like to wash mine because i don't know the processing how they process it so just wash it nicely And if there's anything in there, like, you know, twig or anything, something like this, just pick it out. Anything that, you know, don't belong. Okay. I tend to wash it because I don't know if they put any dye or anything on it. So I just, you know, wash it just twice if you want to wash it more that's up to you and just you can drain it like this just ch throw it in a colander see how red and pretty that is already so we're just washing okay there we are 
Now we're gonna do our ginger. Okay guys, here we are, we're finished. We have two cups of fresh ginger. We're gonna add this to the water. Okay guys, so here we are, back at the water. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start adding, it's almost boiling, it's not fully boiling it. So we're just gonna add a pinch of salt to it, one pinch of salt, we're gonna add to it. A pinch of salt. We're gonna add our two cups of shredded ginger. Make sure you rinse out, we wanna get everything in there. All right. Then we're gonna add what I do. I normally add a little sugar before the sweetening time, just so you know. It. I just had two cups of sugar to it. And now we're gonna do it. Just gonna stir that in. Sugar just helps with the fermentation. All right, so now to this, we're gonna add our one and a half, one, one pound, four ounces of dry sorrel that we had washed. Let's put it in. And with this, if you're gonna add the wine, you add the wine after you've sweetened it. But if you're not adding wine, you don't have to worry about it. Let's take your time and get it all in. There you go, it's already pretty, right? Nice and pretty. There we are. So now we're just gonna merge everything in the water. And I'm gonna cover it, but we're gonna eyeball it because once it comes to a solid boil, once or twice, we're just gonna have it boil for a little bit, then we're gonna turn it off. So we're gonna cover it. And then we're gonna check on it in another 10 minutes. Okay, guys, now here, here is our sorrel. It's coming to a boil. It's boiling away. It's bubbling away. You see, it's bubbling away. At this point, you could turn the stove down if you want to, or you could just push your sorrel down into it like this. Just push it down. And we're just gonna let it stay boiling for five or so minutes. Just uncover it. Remember, once you start, you gotta keep eyeballing it, because once it start boiling, you gotta take the cover off, because you don't want it boiling over in your stove. So let's, let it sit like this for another five minutes. Then we turn the stove off. And once we turn the stove off, we're gonna keep it to the back of the stove or on the countertop until 24 hours, one or two days. And then we're gonna meet back and I'm gonna sweeten and taste, okay? So that's it. Let it boil like that for five or 10 minutes. Okay hey guys, I just strain it after it's been sitting for probably 30 something hours because i doing it a little so now i'm just stirring it i just strain off all the stuff we had added to the water you see how nice and pretty this is so i just um i just gonna taste it it's pretty sweet because remember i had put some sugar so i have a little sugar here i'm just gonna add another cup of sugar to it and that should be fine. If you like it sweet, you can just sweeten it to your own taste. And this is the point, if you're adding anything to it, you could add whatever you wanna add. So all I'm gonna add is just a little, like another cup of sugar. I already had two cups. So in all, I'm gonna add three cups. If that's not sweet enough for you, you could always add more.